Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is a beautiful Sunday morning here in uh, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, it's day 147 of the three plus minutes of planks challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Uh, I'm truly blessed. Um, I'm going to tell you some thoughts on my mind today. Uh, yesterday morning, um, um, something I normally do before work day, if, um, especially if I have time, it's the show time's a little bit later in the day, I'll go out for a walk or a run. Um, just depending on the time frame I have, um, the condition of my body and things of the sort. Um, I went out yesterday and did about 14 and a half miles, um, most of it outside in East Boston. Uh, and then as it gets, um, you know, and then some of it was also um, at the airport itself. And um, a lot of what I do um, is uh, right now, what I do mostly is reading audiobooks. Um, and the book I'm reading right now is called Understanding Why. Um, but anyway, um, when I'm in the airport, I do a lot of people watching. You know, I just kind of see what's going on, you know. I see people, I look at people differently uh, in, in terms of just kind of looking around and seeing the energy and things of the sort. And uh, a couple of things uh, I noticed, uh, you know, about this time two years ago, being at the airport, it was dead, you know, like there was hardly anybody there. It felt like the sort of twilight zone effect where, you know, you don't know if people are gonna fly again. You don't know if you're gonna have a job and things of the sort. So it's interesting to see how full the airports are now, how full the flights are and things of the sort. It's just an interesting dynamic. Yesterday, I saw a good friend of mine named Todd. Uh, he's a coworker for mine from work. And it was great to see him. I'd seen him the first time on my pass. And a lot of times um, I'm incognito, so I don't say anything, but I saw him again the next time and I stopped him and gave him a hug. Just like, man, brother, it's good to see you. It's been a while, things of the sort. Um, He'd been watching a lot of my journey online. Um, and he said something, he said, man, you seem to be living an amazing life. <laughs> it gave me cause for pause. And I replied, brother, it's because I'm living an amazing life. Um, and it's not, you know, Social media is weird to me in a sense because sometimes I watch people and they're, they're bragging and showing all the things they have, the fun they're having and things of the sort. And so I've always gotten weird about that. But, you know, I live my social media life, my real life, and just being thankful and being joyful for, for the man I am, doing the things I want, things that bring me joy. And it's not about things I have. It's not about money I have or any of that. It's just about the fact that I'm living my life on my terms. And from that, everything will play out the way it needs to play. So I'm blessed each and every day. <laughs> and I'm thankful to say that I'm living an amazing life. Anyway, peace today and every day. I got to get on and get to work. Talk to you later.